today we will be replacing the reverse tail lights. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is remove these uh, pins. And to do that, you will need a tool like this, and you simply just kind of go underneath and pull out, they pop out. You gotta pop them out twice, once for this ring, and then once to take it off completely. And now do that for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pins. Okay, so now that you've removed those eight pop-out pins, you want to go ahead and open this. Simply just unscrew it. And then, you want to go, uh, you want to take out this little connector thing. You just simply twist it and pull it out. And then at the bottom here, it's hard to see on camera, but there are two screws here. They're plus screws. And they're actually, they have the same, uh, have the same carpet on top. So you have to look for them and then unscrew those. And then once you do that, this piece here should come out. Now that you've removed those screws, you can simply just pull this out upwards. Now that we've removed that center piece, you want to go ahead and just kind of bend your carpet here. And then you will see this tab here. You want to go ahead and push that tab or pull. Like that, so it pops. Good. Now do that on the other side too. Okay, so now you want to get a metric size 10 socket and you want to pull this down and you'll see there's a screw with a little washer bolt on it and you want to go ahead and remove that. Lay some extension on. doesn't hold all too well, you just need like a few turns and then you can do it with your hand. And then just simply screw it off. And you'll notice that this whole piece comes with it. That's good. If it doesn't, then you need to check out and make sure that your bolt is connected to this white piece. Okay, so I didn't see this before, but there are two more pins here. So there's ten pins total. So once you remove these two, this whole carpet will come off. It'll make the whole thing a lot easier. So do that. Okay, so now that you've removed those two pins, you'll see that the whole thing kind of just hanging by this thread which is fine but now you don't have to worry about constantly bending the sides because you have much better access okay so now that you've removed that bolt simply just push up here and then this piece will come out and there you go Okay, so I've gone ahead and done that for the other side, and now I'm just going to remove this one. There we go. And now, you will see that it is quite dirty around here, and here. 
So you want to take some wet paper towels, clean it off, and then take some dry paper towels and dry it off. Okay, so yeah, just take your wet paper towel and, and go around the outside. Take all that dirt off. Make sure you don't get any inside the car. You can see a lot of dirt is coming off. So go ahead and do that for both sides. And then afterwards, take your dry paper towel and go over it and clean it. I'll do this for both sides now. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the difference between the new one on the right and the old one on the left. You can see that the new one, the right one, is a lot like clearer and flashier, whereas the one on the left, the old one, is kind of smudged and not so clear anymore. So yeah, that's where you can see the difference. Okay, so you'll notice that the new piece also has one of these uh, bolt, white bolt thingies. So you're going to want to go ahead and remove that first, and then afterwards we can put it in. So now that we have the bolt out, we're going to go ahead and put it in and you'll see that there are some little clips here. These go on the outer side and you're going to kind of want to have to feed it in here and then rotate it to put it in. I'll try and show you. So start on the side, get in the clips and then rotate it in. There you go. And it'll pop out at first, but as soon as you put in the screw, it'll hold in place. Okay, so now you want to take your little screw bolt thing and attach it to the one you just put in. There's a little slot for it to go up. Okay, so I found using like a screwdriver socket thing is a lot easier. And you'll notice that as you screw it in further, your um, the light will stick more because before it was kind of popping out, but now it'll, it's more correct and flat. And you just want to keep going until you can't anymore. And then don't be too tight or you'll break the glass or something. So yeah, we're good. Now just do it on the other side and we will be done. Okay, so now we need to reinsert the uh, the bulb cover. So this is for the left side and it's going to go in exactly like this with the bulb in the back left. You'll see there's a little hole for it and then just connect or make sure that you're lined up with this thing and push up until you hear a click and it's locked in. Also first, you want to connect reconnect the electrical socket here. So let's connect the electrical socket. Pretty simple. That clicks in and then push up. And once it's in place, you need to push this little lever back until it clicks. Like that, and now it's good. Alright, let's get back to putting this cover on. Okay, so now let's put this carpet back thing back in place. First line here in the middle, make sure this is above the black little square thing. And now put the pop sockets back in place. I would start with these top two ones and then kind of work your way around the outside and then come back for the middle ones. So pretty simple. Take your little pin and just push it in. And just keep going around. These two, it'll be holding, held in place, and it'll make the other one a lot easier. Okay, now that those pins are back in, we're going to put this little case thing back. 
take these two tabs and slide them through their slits. And then start by attaching this little uh, holder piece again here. Just twist it sideways, push it through, and then put it back. And now you can screw this up. And take your two little invisible screws and screw them back into those two holes with a plus screwdriver. Okay, so now all we need to do is close the trunk and we are done. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!